Quicksilver Pro is one of the stops on the world tour. They're held all over the world. It's very unique that we brought this event to the East Coast. The fact that it was brought here to New York is because it is such a major city and there is a lot of interest in the sport of surfing. Here at this event, the Quicksilver Pro New York, it will be the largest prize purse in the history of the sport. On the ASP World Tour, a million dollars amongst the 36 surfers competing in this event. We're underway, beautiful crowd on site, and it's all about portraying the sport of surfing at the same level as some of the other sports because it truly is a sport. These are real athletes, and we want to give that to the locals here in New York. We're here at the Tony Hawk Vert Jam on Pier 54 in New York City. It's part of the Quicksilver Pro New York. This is the kickoff to that. Tony Hawk is going to do his Vert Jam with all his guys in New York City here. The reason we wanted to come here was this is the media capital of the world. It's an amazing surf culture and skate culture, and we wanted to really bring the Quicksilver, the best we've got, to this city. Skateboarding, surfing is part of kind of the same culture. Um, a lot of crossover. Tony likes to surf as well. Um, a lot of our surfers like to skate, and it really is, you know, just really an amazing board sport. We are kind of outside and by the river, and you look back and see all the buildings. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of nice, nice view, nice atmosphere. The crowd is amazing. At each event, there is two slots that are given to the sponsor. We always give one back to the trials. We get some of the locals involved, and we also bring in some of our international riders from all over the world to compete. The reason why these guys perform at such a high level is because in the smaller surf, you really have to read every single little inch to find where the power source is. Here in New York, you've got some amazing talent, and you know we saw that in the trials. Today we had 16 surfers competing in the Unsound Trials. Only one surfer came out. That surfer happened to be from the East Coast, and that's part of the reason why we do it, is to make sure that the local talent gets to showcase themselves and have an opportunity to perform in the backyard. How do you feel? Oh, I didn't catch a wave the first like 15 minutes, so I was way behind the eight ball. I knew I had a shot, but like I knew it was kind of a long shot to beat all of like the 15 other really good surfers. I never thought I'd be in a New York CT event, so super excited. I just took each heat one at a time and uh, focused on like, the waves were really small and just kind of like tried to get the best waves in each heat. Keanu almost came back with a solid wave at the end, but luckily he didn't, and luckily I, I, I won it.